Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to master the Illustrator Paragraph tool. I'm going to show you how to do line spacing, indentation, formatting of individual paragraphs, and all this awesome stuff in Illustrator. Now begin with the text that you want to edit. So here I just have some lorem ipsum filler. Click the text area. And up here you have two panels. You have the character panel and the paragraph panel. We're going to start with the paragraph panel. In here, we can control the indent of the paragraph. So the left indent, the right indent, that's on this side. And if we justify this completely by clicking this button, we'll see the right indent. There you go. And also the first line indent. So here it's a bit difficult to see where we have paragraphs. So we can change this by increasing the first line indent. And then we can also change the spacing between paragraphs. So each one of these is a paragraph. We can increase it by going like this. Good. We can also control the hyphenation. So we see some words are hyphenated by clicking here. And if you don't like that hyphenation, you can modify it by clicking on this box right here and changing the hyphenation by clicking on this and modifying the settings in here. The other thing you can do is you can click on this box right here and control the justification to any settings that you like. Okay. Now there's another little box in there you might have not seen. And if I put a quotation right here, the quotation is a, uh, counts as a character. But if you don't want it to, what you can do is you can click on the character panel right here. And if we click on this box, it's a button called R Roman hanging punctuation. If we click on this, we see the quotation is actually put outside of the box. Kind of a stylistic feature that you might enjoy using. So I'm going to turn that off for now, but just so you know that it's there. Now I'm going to add a first line indent, quite a hard indent, just so we can see it quite easily. Now, with the text box selected, we can go to the character panel. And in here, we can control the spacing of our lines. This is called the letting. So right here is 14.4. And if I increase this with my text selected, or my text box selected, sorry, we see that our line spacing increases. It's quite simple. You can also control the font size. This controls the kerning or kind of the spacing between certain letters. We'll just leave it at auto for now. Uh, this is also a spacing attribute. We can leave that as nothing for now. This is the scaling. So if we want our letters to be stretched out vertically or stretched out horizontally, like here, we can also rotate our text like that. And this is a modification of the baseline. So in the character panel, you can double click on any word and modify that word individually. So I can rotate just this word and no other words. This button right here, this is called the baseline shift. And if I want this word to kind of be below this line, I can click on this and I can make it drop effectively or rise. This is kind of a neat little feature. Of course, you can also make all caps, small caps, superscript, subscript, underline, and strike through. Cool. So now I want to show you one other thing before we save this. What we see is that since we have a lot of text in this box, we have a little red box down here. This means that our text doesn't fit in here. So if I squeeze it, you see the rest of the text that got pushed to the end. Well, the cool thing is that if you click on this little red box and you click somewhere else, for instance, right here, we see that all of the word all the words that were below this line have now been wrapped into this paragraph style, into this paragraph or this box. This is a pretty cool little feature. So to save your paragraph style, if you want to use another document, select it, go to window, type, and then paragraph styles. This box will pop up right here. You see a couple of little tests that I did before and click create new style. Give that style a new name. So new name. And if you want to modify it, so actually, let's go that. If you want to modify this, you can just double click on it and you can change all of the, the font family, the tabs, the indents, all the stuff is all available just by double clicking this. Press OK. Now to save it, you have to do one more thing. You have to click this button right here and add it to your current library. And that'll add it to this library tab right here. So if we click on that right here, we see that we have our new name tab right there. And these are all our different types of uh, paragraph styles. So it's quite simple to just create a new paragraph right here. I'm gonna 
make this into that, switch this out, enter, and we see that it is being applied in there. And of course, by going to window, type paragraph styles, I can apply the different styles, which are all saved in my libraries. So when I open a new document, the libraries will be here and then I can apply them to my paragraph styles. So that's all it is. That's all it takes to master the paragraph tools. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Uh, hit like, subscribe if you like this, check out our other videos. And of course, as always, have a great day.